Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. It's our all English lecture, so we're going to slow down a little bit. It's hard to remember sometimes when we get started that. We shouldn't talk too quickly. There is no Chinese teacher. Oh no! On this particular unit, so we're going to be talking about something that is very current. It's part of the news, and it's about scams and cyber attacks、um, in the age of COVID nineteen. Since we've had COVID nineteen, we've had an increase of cyber attacks, which is terrible. Most people are. You know, at home, especially in the U.S., a lot of people were home for a long time, and not being able to get together with friends and family, they then went online to communicate, and so、uh, it was a great opportunity for hackers、mm. to hack in and to try some of their scams. Tom, I read、uh, this week. Uh, I guess it was a couple weeks ago that in the state of Washington, they had been scammed out of a hundred million U.S. dollars by Nigerians because our federal government had been giving out help to fight COVID, and、uh, the government in Washington State is so stupid that they were scammed out of a hundred million dollars. Guys, if you're getting Email notes asking for help or saying that you've won a million dollars, and you see that the email address is strange, or these people have kind of crazy English or even crazy Chinese, and they're writing to you from countries you've never heard of, just delete it. Don't even click on anything. The point is,、uh, people are. Uh, seizing on this opportunity with the、uh, COVID nineteen to make a quick buck by、yeah. cheating people. So yes, indeed, there are lots of holes in the internet, lots of flaws, security leaks, and stuff like that. And、uh, of course,、uh, criminals out there are never going to stop. They're always looking for ways to cheat us out of money. So you need to beware of scams. We're talking about cyber attacks in the age of COVID nineteen.、Uh, that's the subject for. Our all English lecture for the month of August. So let's get to it. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson right now. A new threat has been unfolding amid all the panic and chaos generated by the COVID-19 pandemic. With millions of people now working remotely. Cyber attacks have abounded. An increase in cyber attacks when a natural disaster or a disease outbreak occurs is nothing new. For instance, cyber attacks escalated after the 2004 tsunami and the 2015 to 2016 Zika epidemic. The global landscape in which 2020's cyber attacks have taken place is dramatically different, however. Social distancing orders have forced many employees to work from home, where they lack access to IT departments to keep their computers secure. Furthermore, software programs such as the virtual meeting app Zoom have been struggling to shield their platforms from cyber criminals. Zoom's customer base rose from 10 million people in December 2019. To 200 million in March 2020. This surge in popularity has exposed Zoom's security risks. Cyber criminals hijack private Zoom meetings, take over the audio and video controls, and spread hateful messages through their video screens and the app's share function. As of May 2020, Zoom had yet to introduce security updates. That combat these issues effectively. Hackers have also been exploiting people's fears by posing as trusted government sources or local banks. Some of the hackers' emails include links to fake sites that claim to determine whether a person has come into contact with a COVID-19 sufferer. Others claim the ability to assist people financially, though their real motive. Is to steal credit card information. 
It's possible to protect yourself from these scams. Use extreme caution when opening emails with links or attachments in them. You can also verify an email's validity by calling the organization that appears to have sent it to double check if it's legitimate. Finally, be wary of exaggerated offers. If they sound too good to be true, they probably are. Stay safe online during these trying times. Okay, let's get to it. Let's discuss the contents of today's lesson again. It's our news digest unit, and it's also our all English lecture. So our subject for today is beware of scams, cyber attacks in the age of COVID nineteen. So we did talk about scams briefly at the beginning of our program. A scam is when somebody's trying to cheat you.、Uh, here in Taiwan, of course, there are lots of scams going on all the time. I don't know if they have the same scam where they have someone、uh, call you on the phone and then you hear someone's voice say, "Dad, I've been kidnapped. You got to send some ransom money to these people." And a lot of people fall for that, so that's a scam, and、uh, that of course means they're just trying to cheat you out of money. So of course,、uh, you know, you would expect this during a time of international crisis.、Uh, we've got these scams going on, and these cyber attacks.、Uh, that's when somebody attacks you on the internet. Anything cyber refers to the internet and computers. Cyber attacks, yeah. Well,、um, it says here a new threat has been unfolding amid all the panic and chaos generated by the COVID nineteen pandemic. If something's unfolding, guys, it usually means things are being revealed, maybe some information. But the fact that we're using unfolding kind of gives you the sense that all of the information isn't being revealed at once. It's just coming out little by little. Um, and you learn more and more as time goes on. So, a new threat has been unfolding, and people, bad people, are taking advantage of、uh, the fear that people have about COVID nineteen, and they're making it worse by trying to scam others. Scam can be used as a verb and a noun. Yeah, he's running a scam. That's a noun. Or he's trying to scam you. That's the verb. So. Yeah, a lot of、um, new threats have been unfolding. There's a lot of panic, and like I said, a lot of fear and chaos. Chaos is when things are kind of crazy. Chaos just means lots of disorder.、Mm. Um, we see a lot of chaos when there are natural disasters, you know, and people don't know where to turn for help.、Um, there's been chaos generated. Generate means to produce or to cause something to happen. Lots of terrible、uh, scams have been coming around because of this、uh, COVID nineteen. I think people just are on their computers a lot more right now. Pandemic means some sort of worldwide illness that everyone is having to deal with, and、uh, I think COVID has been actually.、Uh, I think it's gone to every. Every country in the world, by every、now. corner of the world. That's、yeah. why it's called a pandemic. If it's more local, like the Zika epidemic of 2015 and 2016,、uh-huh. that was more of an epidemic centered in Brazil and in the Americas and some islands. But、uh, yes, the COVID-19 pandemic was all over the world, and so this kind of brought about some confusion and chaos. So scammers have jumped at the opportunity to cash in. And with millions of people now working remotely, cyber attacks have abounded. So yes, we've got people working remotely. Are they going to school remotely? They're attending university classes at home by going on their computers and watching lectures online instead of actually going to their university classrooms. So they need this software in order to do this stuff. And so these cyber attacks have become more common. Abounded here is. The past tense of the verb to abound, which means it's just all over the place. It's very common. It sure is. So we've had an increase in cyber attacks、uh, when things like natural disasters or a disease break out. Break out is actually the verb phrase of the noun outbreak. See how that works? Yeah. So if there's an outbreak somewhere, 
It just means that there's a sudden, kind of almost violent start to something. Usually, we use outbreak when we're talking about wars.、Um, a fire can break out. A fight can break out, and a A disease like this can break out. A lot of、uh, these cyber attacks are happening because things are pretty chaotic right now. Chaotic is the adjective form of our noun, chaos. So it's kind of a strange time. You got to be extra careful. Uh, indeed, and a lot of these、uh, software programs are kind of new, and so they don't have the protections、uh, built into them yet. So, of course, scammers and hackers are taking advantage of this situation. So, let's talk about some examples here. When we had cyber attacks in the past. Uh, for instance, or for example, cyber attacks escalated after the 2004 tsunami and the 2015 to 2016 Zika epidemic.、Mm. So here we've got the verb to escalate.、Uh, remember, when you go to a department store or to the MRT, you will probably ride on an escalator,、uh, which is also called moving stairs. That's kind of an old、uh, term, but、uh, basically you get the idea.、Uh, the escalator that goes Up the escalator that goes down.、Uh, that's different from elevator, but、uh, here is a verb to escalate. Just means to go from a lower place to a higher place or to increase in intensity. So these attacks have escalated. They've gotten more common and they've gotten more、uh, dangerous. They sure have. So、uh, if things escalate, you know that、uh, something's increasing pretty rapidly. Sometimes you have coworkers that don't get along, but that bad feeling can quickly escalate if someone says the wrong thing. The global landscape in which 2020 cyber attacks have taken place is dramatically different, however, than it was back when we had the tsunami or even the Zika epidemic, which was scary.、Uh, remember, the little mosquitoes were carrying the Zika virus. That's right. Yeah,、mm-hmm. it didn't go worldwide, but、uh, scared a lot of people, especially pregnant women. We're quite afraid because if they were bitten, their babies would have some sort of、um, birth defect. So it was very scary for them. This is probably a good time to take a break, guys. We don't have our Chinese teacher to let you listen to, but、uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back to continue talking about these cyber attacks in the age of COVID nineteen. Okay, let's continue with our all English lecture for the month of August. Again, we're talking about scams and cyber attacks in the age of COVID nineteen. Now, we talked about some examples of、uh, cyber attacks in the past, which occurred、uh, after the two thousand and four tsunami. That's when there was that big earthquake in Indonesia, which sent tsunamis all around the Indian Ocean to India, Sri Lanka. All those places were affected, and then of course. We had the Zika epidemic in 2015 and 2016 in Brazil. Well, the global landscape in which 2020s cyber attacks have taken place is dramatically different. However, so yes, the global landscape, the situation in the world here in which the COVID-19 pandemic is taking place,、uh, these cyber attacks are different. They're dramatically different from those that took place in the past. Let's talk about how that is the case. So. Social distancing orders have forced many employees to work from home, where they lack access to IT departments to keep their computers secure. Hmm, I never thought of that. If you're working in the office, okay, and you get a virus in there or a trojan or whatever, then you can always talk to the people in the IT department to come over and fix your computer. Yeah, I think I might have a trojan in my computer or a virus. Can you take care of it? And of course, these guys.、Uh, Usually guys, sometimes girls, but these guys are computer geeks. You know, they know all about this stuff. They just tap a few keys on your keyboard and and、um, lickety split really fast. There, they've solved your problem. But if you're working at home, you just don't have access to those IT department employees. So IT just stands for information technology. 
Now, those IT departments are constantly updating a virus software for everybody in the company. They don't even have to really go to your computer; they can do it、uh, from their own desk. So you don't have them to help you, and. Because you're home, but you still need to meet with your coworkers,、uh, except from long distance. People are using virtual meeting apps. One that's really popular is Zoom right now. I'm not sure why it's so popular. It's got problems, and I had heard several months ago that、uh, China was able to actually listen in on some of these meetings. I would not be talking about、um, important things to my company. Over the internet that wasn't protected, so Zoom has been struggling to shield their platforms from cyber criminals. What it, what can these cyber criminals do? It's pretty awful.、Um, first of all, a little bit about Zoom. I'm sure everybody's heard about it by now, but it's got a customer base. When it first、um, here, we've got a figure from December 2019. They really only had 10 million customers at that point. But it、uh, it shot up to 200 million in March 2020 for good reason. A lot of people, especially in the U.S.,、uh, they were shutting down、um, their states. Very few states even stayed open. They told everybody to go home. I know Europe shut down for a while, although Europe's open again. But、uh, yeah, you needed to get some work done. Needed to talk to your You know, coworkers and sometimes clients. You know, and so you would use video conferencing. There are other ways to video conference, but Zoom is very cheap. Uh, indeed, and it, the popularity of Zoom increased quickly when this pandemic became a reality. This surge in popularity has exposed Zoom's security risks. So we've got this surge, which means a sudden increase in something. Usually, it just means something going from a low place to a high place rather fast, like、mm-hmm. a surge in water levels, for example, if there's a flood or a typhoon or something. So yes, it has become popular really fast, but that has exposed. The security problems or the security risks. Now, cyber criminals hijack private Zoom meetings. They take over the audio and video controls, and they spread hateful messages through their video screens and the app's share function. So these cyber criminals do all sorts of nasty, bad things. They hijack these meetings. Hijack usually means somebody has a gun and they take over an airplane, but nowadays it kind of means they take over something on the internet. They get into your computer and get all your information. They hijack your information. Uh, so they do this to private meetings, and then they take over the audio and video controls. They don't let you hear things, and they start showing you things that you don't want to see. And they also spread hateful messages.、Uh, I'm not going to give you some examples of that, but you can probably make up your own hateful messages. You're so terrible. You're an awful person. Stuff like that. Yeah, not a good thing. So as of May 2020, Zoom had yet to introduce security updates. That combat or combat these issues effectively. Yeah, a lot of times when software is found to have holes in it,、um, the company will release updates to help plug that hole or fix that problem. But Zoom hasn't done so yet. Hackers have also been exploiting people's fears by posing as trusted government sources or local banks. I've seen this happen. Hackers have amazing computer programming skills, and they can actually get into your computer and、uh, take a look at your data and steal it if they want to. So you have to make sure your computer is protected. If you exploit someone, you're taking advantage of them in a bad way.、Uh, you're using them. To To your own advantage, and here they know that people are afraid of COVID nineteen, so they're actually using that fear to get them to do things that will help them. They email them and、uh, pretend they're their government, their government emails, or maybe even an email from a local bank, and that they can trust them that way. The first thing I always do with weird emails, guys, I just look at who it's from. These guys never have official email addresses. There are usually lots of letters and words. Just delete it.
Mm, yeah, that's a、uh, good advice there. So they pose, or they pretend that they are trusted government sources or their local banks. And some of the hackers' emails include links to fake sites that claim to determine whether a person has come into contact with a COVID-19 sufferer. So they're kind of playing on our fears here. We're all afraid of getting this virus. So if they put this link there, they're trying to get you to go there. And so you should probably.、Uh, Uh, be aware that they're trying to cheat you there, so avoid those links. Those are fake sites, and they have to do with COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah. If there's a link, don't click on it. It will give you a virus if you do. And if there's a download, do not download the attachment, guys. Don't do it.、Uh, so some of the hackers' emails, like Tom said, take you to these fake sites. I've seen some that、um, take you to places where you can order. Face masks. Don't Ooh, do that either. Weird. So others claim the the ability to assist people financially, and a lot of people are suffering financially, so that would be very appealing to them. But their real motive is to steal credit card information. Your motive is the reason why you do something. We often hear motive when we're talking about why someone killed somebody else. What was their motive for murder? But you could have a motive,、um, even in business. You know,、uh, what's what was his motive for、um, talking to the talking to the CEO last night? What was he trying to get from the CEO? Everyone has a reason for the actions that they take. Motive isn't positive or negative. It depends on what you're talking about. So it's possible to protect yourself from these scams. Yes, it is. Use extreme caution when opening emails with links or attachments in them. I think、um, opening the email probably isn't going to give you the virus, but I know for sure that、uh, opening attachments, clicking on them, or clicking on links will give you a virus. Uh, yeah, I delete anything I'm not sure about, and、uh, again, you can go on and verify an email's validity by calling the organization that appears to have sent it to double check if it's legitimate. So, if、uh, the ABC Bank sent you this email,、uh, you can call them up to verify the validity. Validity means how valid or how real something is. So, you can call them up and say, "Hey, did you guys send me an email about?、Uh, getting Getting information from my account. Oh no, we did not. You need to delete that email right away. It is invalid. It's not valid. It's not genuine. Yeah, another word for that is legitimate, right? And it's also one of our vocab words. If something's legitimate, it's cool with the law. It follows the law. It conforms to the law. Yeah.、Um, I, I we use this kind of in a slang way though too, don't we? Yeah, he's legit. She's legit.、Um, we'll shorten it to just say legit. If you're writing, guys, you have to write the full word out, unless you're just, you know, writing to a buddy, a friend. But if you're speaking, you'll often,、uh, you can often use just the legit. Or if you're listening, you should know that legit does stand for legitimate. Yeah, he's the real thing, or she's the real thing. He's legit. So、um, I used it a lot in singing. People who studied classical singing and took voice lessons were legit singers. They weren't these kids that you know just sing pop music and have no training. Those were they could be talented, but if you're legit, you usually were trained. So we use that quite often. Finally, here's another thing: be wary. Be very cautious. That's another word for wary. Of exaggerated offers, if something's exaggerated, it means it sounds too good to be true. People will often exaggerate their stories. You know, they want their stories to sound more appealing, so they'll make it bigger than it really is. People exaggerate their resumes. You know,、um, they put things down that they really shouldn't. Don't do that, guys.、Um, but yeah. There are exaggerated offers that you need to avoid. If it looks or sounds like it's too good to be true, it usually is, if not always, is. 
Indeed. So you again, you need to be wary of those exaggerated offers. Okay. So again, you probably already explained this, but to exaggerate, of course, means to say too much about something. You're exaggerating. People do this all the time to make themselves、uh, sound better than they really are.、Uh, I'm not sure if you do too much exaggerating when you like、uh, write out your resume or something like that. Some people do. Yeah. They sometimes do. They're not so truthful about、oh. their ability. Right. Another way to say that is they pad their resume, P A D, which means they add things to the resume to make it look better. We're talking about、uh, this problem with cyber attacks here, so yeah, be wary of those exaggerated offers. Hey, if you call in now, you can win two million NT dollars just for calling in right now.、Uh, that sounds too good to be true. I would probably ignore that. There are a lot of good antivirus software programs out there.、Um, they're not free, but、uh, I think they're worth downloading and putting on your personal computer. A lot of the sites that I've gone to just in the last year, I'll get a message from my antivirus software saying, "Ooh, this is a malicious site. We're protecting you." So I know a lot of websites. Even just by going to that address, the URL that they give you, that、uh, if you even go there, they're trying to get into your computer as you type.、Uh, they're trying to hack in. So you got to be careful out there, guys.、Uh, scams are ongoing all the time. They just seem to get worse when we have、uh, these. I, I would call this kind of a disaster, a world disaster.、Um, We did think we'd lose more people to COVID nineteen, but still, I know a lot of people lost their jobs, and it's been tough that way. But try to protect yourself by not believing everything you read or hear online. Right. Watch out for those viruses, those trojans, and those ransomware programs that try to get into your computer all the time. So, indeed, stay safe online during these trying times, during these difficult times. Okay. That brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We wish you the best of luck during these difficult times. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.